also a bit of a watch geek. He keeps Actually, turning yeah. them. ASMR watches. Good afternoon, my love. So I'm in the car with hubby and today we are going to check out some of the most hard to get Rolexes and watches. As you know, hubby is definitely a watch enthusiast. He's getting me so into watches. I feel like I want to add a watch to my collection. And as you guys saw from my Christmas unboxing, I surprised him with a Rolex. And we're actually heading to Watches of Switzerland because recently Rolex changed their sort of policy. So now you will find in a lot of the authorized Rolex dealers that they have to have a certain amount of watches displayed. So this is a great opportunity to try on the rarest and most hardest to get watches. What other top five hardest watches to get at the moment. Would you guys be interested in that? I mean, I'm pretty interested in that, aren't you, Hobby? Mm -hmm. Do you have a prediction? What's your prediction? I would say number one would be the Tiffany Dial uh, Oyster Perpetual in 41 millimeters. Really? Over the Daytona? Over, probably at the moment. Ooh. So the Tiffany Dial, you guys know when they launched that whole range, you know, it was called Power Rangers and the Tiffany blue dial. Oh, it's so pretty. I would love that. Not in the 41 though. 36 for you. 36 for me. So and then what else? What, what else? Do you think? Daytona. Daytona and then what else? And then I would Are say... we just doing Rolexes or we yeah, we're just doing Oh yeah, Rolexes. and then I would say a, a, a green bezel submariner. A green bezel submariner. So the what what do they call it? The Skirmit. The, the Skirmit. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful because I love green. And then, and then I would say another Oyster Perpetual, maybe, or maybe the Candy Pink. The Candy Pink. Oh yeah, that's a really, really pretty pink. The Oyster Perpetual, geez, that, I guess after they released that, I feel like Rolex went even more nuts. Yeah, because that was their least popular, one of their least popular lines. Now it's probably their most popular line because so. it's at the price point right it's at the price point it's at the so colors. what is the yeah the price point is really good for rolex yeah, like so what is it around eight see eight thousand and then on the, on the resale market they go for like what double double well there you go yeah so those are hubby's predictions but i would love to hear what you know actually the store says and you know what customers have requested the most so anyway for all you watch lovers i think you'll enjoy this we're going to be trying watches on i'll be trying watches on as well i might even try vlog i want to check out something from tiffany and i know a few of you have asked me you know how come you haven't done a tiffany vlog and to be honest i haven't been into tiffany as much but the last couple of years i mean i, th I think about two or three years ago i tried on their hardware collection and it's definitely grown on me so uh if we get time i would definitely try to vlog that so i will catch you guys in a bit oh guys i have to show you i'm carrying the latest addition to my collection my beautiful baby Birkin excuse the Sun I haven't taken all the stickers off yet well I've taken the stickers off these two but yeah I will remove the stickers you shouldn't leave the stickers on for too long so it is the Itan this gorgeous gray with rose gold hardware as you can see it's really subtle it's not it's not super super gold and yeah, I've even got my Hermes ring on here. I would love to add more rose gold Hermes jewelry. So yes, inside, I've, of course, I use my 7RP insert. This is in the color blush, but they've come out with so many new colors that I would love. I love the blue broom. I love, actually, they're all beautiful pastel colors. So it's just important for the structure of your bags because especially Togo and Clemence, they do slouch over time. Maybe not so much in the this size, but I always use it for all my bags and I have been for the last like five years. So my code, and that's the highest code, is just MIM40. 40 euros off one or MIM 85 for 85 euros off two. So that is the bag I'm carrying today and I'm also wearing my silver metallic MIM skirt. It's, it is actually 
looking super shimmery at the moment but sometimes it can kind of look matte and I, that's, that's what I love about it so that's my bag of the day okay guys I am on the way to Watches of Switzerland hubby is putting something in the car we got a little bit busy because we were kind of eating okay here's of Switzerland let's go in okay guys so it might be quite noisy but this is the first time that they actually have approximately 15 to 20 Rolex models on display so as you can see excuse the flashing lights for exhibition only now there is a few people around so I don't want to show their faces but of course the most popular as we suspected would be the Daytona obviously this is the two-tone the most popular I would say would be the steel but they do stock other brands as well so you've got Tudor here which is great I mean Tudor is a great watch brand as well I mean I know Rolex is all the vibe but they do stock Tudor and then as you know I bought a Cartier from them so they also obviously do stock Cartier I do really love their watches as well but the husband is definitely more into watches I mean if I was to pick I still prefer oh it's blurring I still prefer the Panthera watch just because it's more sort of smaller maybe I like it a bit more refined so they do have Cartier IWC is another brand that they have so definitely more pilot watches lots of chronographs very traditional some dress watches and JJ Le Court. so these watches are very classy very underrated but they are all very well-made watches as well not just for men and you have to excuse you know everything that this is just my sort of commentary I'm learning as we go let's learn together but I actually quite like some of the Gigi Le Coute. and obviously these are more geared towards a female audience because you can see all the diamonds diamonds are a girl's best friend <laughs> And then, yeah, so JJ Lecourt, and then, oh, Langer, what can I say? My goodness, exquisite. This is a definitely a wish list piece. Just showing you some of them. They've actually opened a new Sydney boutique as well. Let me just show you what they do have. Sorry about the light, guys. There's, it's not showing that well but i love this brand okay guys oh my goodness that's nice i'm so surprised how much i love this i wasn't going to try this on because they daytona has always been on hubby's wish list right yep but hey i think this one looks fantastic on like you. this one it doesn't have scratches by the way it's got a film on it but this one is the white face but it's the two-tone and the reason why I love the two-tone is because it complements my stack so well. Like, it just suits my skin colouring. It actually fits you okay. I mean, it's, it's I mean, I don't have a huge wrist and it is a 30, what? This is, I think it's a 40 millimetre dial. Oh my gosh, it's 40. So it's an oversized watch, but look, guys. And, you know, my essay was saying to me, so, oh, by the way, I did ask. It was very similar to what hubby protect, uh Harvey predicted the most requested generally speaking and not even just in watches of Switzerland all around the board which we knew would be the Daytona the Submariner you know hubby owns this but this is the one with the date I would say the date one is more popular than the no yeah, date I right would say so yeah too. so this one is so requested um, these are not for sale by the way guys so it's not like I could buy them the Pepsi is gorgeous I actually get hubby to try on the Pepsi sure. <laughs> And obviously, this is the one that I just got hubby. But today, I just really wanted to try on some watches myself. For me, I just love the two-tone. Okay, let's have a look. 
So that's the Pepsi, and it's good that they've actually got the oyster bracelet now, as opposed to the Jubilee five-link bracelet. I, I think it looks suits I better with this one. I always prefer the oyster bracelet. I like actually that's on your wish like this. List, right? This is very nice. Yeah, this is nice, and it actually doesn't make a noise with that bi-directional uh, di uh, rotating bezel. So there's Usually no noise. you like the noise. Well, listen to this. I mean, this has the best noise. I mean, come on, hear that. That is Here amazing. This is this is a Can you this hear is that? a bit of a watch geek. He keeps Actually, turning. Yeah. ASMR watches. But let's have a look at the Pepsi. I like it, but I don't love it. But this is a very hyped up watch. Everybody knows this. The yeah. Batman, the the what was it? The Pepsi. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Okay, so this is the Daytona on me. I actually think it looks a lot better on Mel. I think so too. <laughs> I don't know. I just does, Look, it doesn't resonate no, with me. No, but the thing is that it the whole thing is that you need to challenge yourself with the two tone. Not everything has to just be steel. Well, yeah, I don't know. So I, I just think it looks better on you. Let's try this one. This one you actually had mentioned. Yeah, so this one's a the date just 36 mil with the fluted bezel, jubilee bracelet, slate dial, stick indices. Is this the exact one you mocked up? Yeah, that's the one I mocked up. And it's in the two-tone with the Ever Rose. Yeah, let's try this one. Maybe this is a bit more youthful. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. I think it's quite lovely. I, I like I, that. I actually like the rose gold on you. because. Why is that? Why do you like the rose gold on me? Because the hubby's skin tone has an undertone of pink. So the pink complements the pink. There you go. Because the pink complements the pink. That's why it looks good on me. <laughs> That looks beautiful. Okay, so see how the rose gold doesn't look as good on Mel as it does on me? That's because she doesn't have an undertone of pink. Because pink goes with pink. Plus I'm wearing a gold stack, but it is such a pretty watch. The like, size is good. The size is really nice. Obviously, the face is like, is that is that like sunburst too? Yeah, like you got gray? it, sunburst. Look at that little sunburst. Look at that. Even, I don't even mind the Jubilee bracelet in the two. Well, that's because it feels a bit more weighty. More, it feels more solid it, with the... More with the, substantial. More substantial. Such a unisex piece, though, isn't it? Is. It is. It's nice. Okay, what do you have on, Hubs? I have another Daytona on. Yep. But obviously, it's a slightly different colour combination. And it's ob obviously got the rubber uh, bracelet as well. Yeah. And what's different oh, the about it? The rubber strap. Well, it's different in the sense that it's got the... Diamond uh, diamonds indices. Yep, it's got the uh, the the, the sub-seconds and the, the chronograph and dials in the gold. Because the other version that I saw was in black. Yeah. Yeah. But it reminds me of like a tiger. The colour theme looks like a tiger. Yeah, it looks like a tiger. Doesn't, Doesn't look like, like a tiger. tiger. Let yeah. me try it. All right. Let's have a look what it looks like on you. Looks better on me. It looks better on you, but it doesn't look as good. As that one, right? As that one. Oh, they're closing. We oh, gotta go. Okay, we better go. Well, so, but you know what? That's not bad too. I don't. I don't like it. You don't like it. Don't. So that is it for this video, guys. Oh my goodness. I think I am. Oh my gosh, the sun. I think I am a watch person now. The hardest to get watches. They kind of tend to be Rolex. We all know Rolex is so in demand and. You guys know I have a very sentimental watch, which is from my late mother-in-law, a beautiful gold date just. And I would love, absolutely love to add, you know, one Rolex to my collection. I don't think I'll ever have a huge collection. I think hubby's definitely more into watches. So, so sorry we didn't get to go into Tiffany, but by the time this video goes live, I will be in Hawaii, so I will definitely vlog Tiffany for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the watch video. I, it's just so fun. I'm learning as well, and yeah, I'm just really appreciating uh, watches. So signing off for now, big kisses, and happy 2022. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.